Hello, it's me, Monkey Nuts, here in South Park, the Factored Butthole. And so these streams I'll be putting on YouTube as well. Um, basically, just going through and just doing the game, showing you walkthrough, trying to get all the trophies, things like that, and just enjoying it. Now, I've played the first one, Stick of Truth, uh, when it came out first on PS3 like years ago, I can't remember what it was. And I've been looking forward to this since all the delays that I had. I'm glad we've got it now, I'm going to be playing it now. Um, I'll probably do the Stick of Truth again, because obviously when you buy the game now, you get the uh, Stick of Truth remastered for PS4. So I will probably play that, might stream it, um, I will decide on that one. Um, but yeah. And also, South Park has done a great thing, obviously it's now on TV as well, with Season 21 Episode 4, they've also done the prequel to the game through an episode, which is awesome. So, without further ado, enough of me talking, I'll probably be in and out of talking, just so we can enjoy it, and I'll probably just be back for tips and tricks and stuff like that. Um, but you shall see, but anyway, let's start off things. So, I'm just going to go in straight into it. Yeah, let's it. Now, I know there's, um... Let's have a look through this. I know there's the thing that I read um, when it first started. Um, and it's to do with... Depending on what uh, you choose character, like if you... Are a dark character, you, um... You're a black character, you it's harder for you. So that's how they have um done the level system. Anyway, that's the start. What has become of this city? There used to be laws, justice, not anymore. Crime is out of control, cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey, who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa, whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Get, get off my car, you little pecker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, man. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, Perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. Okay, so here we go with the character creation. So obviously there's a bit about the stick of truth was in there. Now I don't know if you can import any I don't think you can import anything, I haven't heard anything. Um so anyway, let's go make my character and then we'll go on. Let's probably go through everything and just see like what different styles I've got and then go from there.
So here is the different. Don't worry, okay. this doesn't affect combat. Just every other aspect of your whole life. And there we go. You have similar to uh, the stick of truth. You also have Karma's little bits about when you're choosing what kind of character. Because with stick of truth, like if you were, um, I think it was a Jew or stuff like that, you would make no comments as you do. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm gonna go through all of them to show you what each one is, and then I'll just pick one. Okay, for some reason it's not doing it on any of the others. It seems to be. Okay. It just seemed to be on that one. Let's go medium difficulty. I don't say anything. Alright, anyway, let's continue on. We should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you just go straight into it, straight into control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love South Park. <laughs> right, anyway. Let's continue on. So, I'm gonna search everything. So, obviously, start if you get uh, the first um, trophy quite easy. Potty trains, just basically completing that. Okay, so basically, just searching to get like little craft and stuff as well. Sweet. So yeah, I'm not sure if like your character would, like his looks or anything will get imported over if you've played the first one, um, obviously because you get it with the game. So I'll probably try that out later, um, probably play it again and see. <laughs> Mommy. 
Please stop crying, sweetheart. I just have something stuck in my eye. <laughs> Leave it to it. Okay. My lord, the filthy Morris are attempting to overtake Koopa Kid. <laughs> you gotta get back, my liege. You're our only hope. Let's go for the show. My lord, come on, dude. Let's see what the uh, well, difference is. If you just move system. to town and you get to be king, I think you're a little pussy. Punch that more in the face, king. Ah, yeah, he can't talk to you like that. Go, king, go. He's yeah, it's a different kind of uh, battle system. Knock him out, king. Yes. to react to what your thing would do. That's cool. Your ah, king's too powerful. Oh, the humanity. It's fine. They're the bad guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go king. You can't keep the moors down. Put one in that corner, sort it. Let's go. We've got to get inside Carmen's house. Hurry! Stand inside or die. We're going through that door. You can't. Oh yeah, why not? Because everything in front of here is lava. Oh, dude, no <laughs> way. All that is lava? Yep, everything from here to here is lava. You can't cross it. Yes. <laughs> Come on, let's get inside. We can't. They're seeing everything in front of the door is lava. Oh, that's not fair. Who do we do, the king? What do you do now? You die! Release the dragon! <laughs> I love that part. A dragon? Yeah. That's the dragon roaring! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way of the fire breath. Go 
don't end your turn where it's gonna hit you. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Stay out of the street, damn kids. Clear. <laughs> 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 you can't stop the king. He is all powerful. Grant a subject. Don't want to waste it. Don't get worse than this. So I've got to do it, but how? I didn't even press that. Oh, that might be why. So if you fire, if you're on the back of it, you need to get close so you can actually have the range. There we go, that's why. Press X in time. Damn it. Oh, let's just try again. Speak, Bard! What happened to the stick of truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean. Lies! You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish! Unhand him, you heathens! Release the Bard or you'll have the king to deal with! The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right! And if you don't... Uh, wait! Wait, whoa, where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. No, we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> the wizard is gone. My name is the king. I'm from the future. <laughs> Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point. In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That, that sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the $100 reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Oopsikins! There's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom! 
The Coon Alert. Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends is simple. <laughs> Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now, and you guys are dorks. <laughs> so, obviously, all from the stick and truth is still here. And I'll just now turn it into the Coon and friends. So I've seen the um, episode that's basically the prequel to this. It's a pretty good episode and basically reintroduces uh, the Coon and Friends kind of scenario that I had in a few episodes back. Oh, hello. The boys are down in their little basement playroom. Hmm. Let's get to some kit. Coon kicks. Oh, did you get locked out? I'm afraid little Eric put a lock on the door to keep me out. I'm sure he has the passcode written down here somewhere. Oh, right, so that's the first thing. Let's go find out what the password is. Okay, so Okay, can I get this? So I think... Give me one second. I'm just checking I'm on the trophies list, but I think there is a trophy for basically doing all the toilets thing. It doesn't say because quite a few of them are hidden, which is uh, cool. But yes, we shall see. Come on, people. <laughs> I 
allowances. Can you kind of fuck your mom? Alright. Uh, we got this stuff from the previous season. Token li tokens, life matters. What's it got? Sweet. Oh, I love this. I'm gonna cut out and um, yes, be back with some tips later. Somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. But well, no, it's not hot. But my son told me I will burn to death if I try and cross it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Yes, he did tell me that if I step on a crack, it would break my mother's back. It won't. Uh. <laughs> right, I know. Fuck. You. Mom. know anything that's not enough mosquito we have to act fast before the freedom pals can a hundred dollar reward do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise that cat looks pretty old maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere human kite do i have to remind you that as of right now freedom pals have a hundred followers on instagram we have six the five of us and billy turner who's a ginger this is the key to finally beating those fuckers but where do we start looking that cat could be anywhere we need to split up mosquito Take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig. Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on fast pass to get there. Get there. Excuse me. So this lovely franchise plan was um on the recent episode of South Park. That's pretty cool. They've got it all there in all the little detail. Um, I won't say anything just because you do watch it, but yes, it makes sense why things are crossed out. This is the detail of it all. It's just it makes you like you're, you're in an episode. It makes you feel like you're in an episode, and they've got everything from the previous episode. It's uh, I love South Park. Hey, 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 hey! Do not touch that. That device can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy. Jesus, fuck! Mom, <laughs> the new kid is trying to play with the cube of ultimate destruction. You be nice to all your friends, Eric. Be a good sharer. Good sharer, it'll blow up the fucking galaxy! Stupid <laughs> bitch! Look, dude, we already told you, you can't play. You aren't a superhero. You don't have a costume. You don't have any superpowers. Uh, all right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephanasy device. It's over there. Those costumes are tailored to the Kuhn's unique body specs. You have to be pretty buff to fit them. <laughs> That's our holding cell for supervillains. Why would we keep a supernity device in there? You oh, yeah. seriously can't find the supernity device? A superheroes use inspection mode, you know. Well, that took long enough. <laughs> the fantasy device active. You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. 
Jesus Christ. Are these even in a human language? All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Koonstagram. Do you have a Koonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Koonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable, let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are you? Since you're a newbie, you can only choose between three for now. Brutalist. Speedster. So by the sounds of it, there's going to be more options later on uh, for things, so... Brutalist. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. Blaster. Brutalist. Speedster. I'll go for speed source now, just because I like the flash, but or many man, Batman, and obviously Mysterion. The sense of urgency is also anyway. important to speed stuff, like the flash or quicksilver. Let's see what it says about the brutalist. next ones. A brutalist, like the thing, or a really pissed off Batman. <laughs> oh, see, now he said that. No. Blaster. Powers like Cyclops. Really this is kind of a big moment in your superhero life. Anyway, no, I guess I was just expecting a little more enthusiasm. We're going to speed stuff for now and then see what else comes on. I can always change it by the sounds of it anyway. Anyway, let's go. A speed stuff. Super fast and just that's about it. Just fast. Oh, cool. A brutalist like the thing or a really pissed off Batman. Why don't you pick something and I can tell you speedster? Might piss off fast pass, but sure. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them. So for the first time, you called upon your speedster powers. As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space time itself to spring into action with super speed. You moved in closer to the intruder to deliver a quantum punch. You used your punch attack on the bad guy. Dude, we're not getting anywhere until you use the power. Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. You vibrated every subatomic particle to become an unstoppable high-energy body. Hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you became empowered to use two attacks in the same turn! First, you gave the second intruder a taste of your atom-smashing quantum fist! Get my atom! With both intruders weakened, there was nothing they could do against the hero's final strike, a supersonic dash! A supersonic dash! Kid's too speedy! Let's get out of here! With the intruder soundly defeated, you thought you were safe until a third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders could bend. Ah! <laughs> I just flushed one little shit. Here's one more. Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage. 
Exhausted from your double-edged charge, you could only watch as he continued to pummel you. Can't run away from this. You were hurt, yes, but the intruder had made a critical mistake. He pissed you off. Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability, Hyperspace Fury. You beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late. Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow. That's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Coonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. It's me, the Keenstar. I have new super sweet inventory. If you are not a registered member of Cunin Friends, please exit the Keenstar. Nah. Keenstar out. Okay, so get the phone up and look at Coonstagram and all that stuff. Let's have a quick gander. Okay, so obviously he's following his stuff at the moment. None. Just like. Okay, and obviously all your inventory in there. Costumes. Oh, cool. So obviously because of he was off exclusive club thing. Okay, so I, I can do it if I go through that. I might do that later. Um, just off of a thingy. Cause it might take a little while, but I might get a few things. So you can actually get like a whole Assassin's Creed thing. What's this one? I have to have Inventor. So we can change the character up here, so that's pretty cool. But for now, let's see, just go for this and then go from there. Power source anal. Nice. Okay, so not really much on there for the moment. Oh, it's just started. So yes. So that's it started. So for now I'm just gonna end the stream here and I'll come back for part two, continuing exactly where I left off from this point here. Um just because I've got to do a few things, I'm gonna probably go through and get some stuff from the Ubisoft Club and then be back on for part two. So 
Thank you for watching and shall see you next time. Goodbye.